Hey guys, I am Lauren with The Smarter Creative and I am coming at you from my new temporary home in Virginia. I just moved in this past week. It's why there wasn't a video last week. I got a request for this video today from um, Janice and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And I'm going to show you how to just one instance take a Dubsado lead and get them legally into your your flow desk automatically. Um, so we're gonna look at what that looks like to get a yes or no, like an actual like, yes, I wanna be a part of your mailing list, okay? So that you can legally and just not sleazily add them to your newsletter. Because just because someone says they're interested in working with you does not necessarily mean they want marketing material from you and your CRM system, your Dubsado, your HoneyBook, um, wherever you are collecting that information does not not automatically give you the right to just start emailing that lead unless you've explicitly asked for their permission um, especially in a lot of countries just it is illegal to do that um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, the right way and using I'm gonna go through Dubsado Zapier and linking it to Flowdesk and you can if you have different tools and those you can make it work for you but you'll get the general gist of what we're gonna do Let's go. All right, you guys, so we are gonna start inside of Dubsado and I am up in my settings and we're gonna come over to custom mapped fields and under client, not project, but client, we're gonna create a, uh, I have a weekly newsletter that I send out. So I'm gonna say weekly newsletter, um, permission um, and our answers here are only short answer or date so I'm gonna say short answer and then I'm gonna come over to my lead form which is um, a part of my clarity call for my website and I'm going to add the short answer and I'm gonna ask the question No, I'm gonna say it's required and then I'm going to say weekly newsletter. So I need to prompt them. I'm gonna put in a placeholder, yes slash no, um, because I need them to actually type out yes or no. And, um, and hopefully they will just type that out. Perfect, so I'm gonna save and close. So now I have it on my lead call. So I'll come over to my website. And on my call here and my form, I have, would you like to receive my weekly Working Smarter email newsletter? Great. So what I need to do now that I have my Dubsado set up for that question, um, I need to set up my Flowdesk audience to make sure it's there. So inside of Flowdesk at the very top, we have audience and then I'm going to go into my segments and I'm going to create a new segment. I'm going to say the Zato lead. Yes. Weekly. Better. Perfect. And now let's link the two together. Okay, so I'm going to search for Dubsado with Flowdesk. And I'm going to say when a new project as lead, then I'm going to create an update subscriber. And we're going to go ahead and try it. And I want it to be my Smarter Creative Dubsado. With my Smarter Creative Flowdesk. Yes, weekly newsletter is my segment. I'm gonna put them in. Perfect, and it automatically pulled my email, first name, last name. But 
what I need it to do is I need to filter the data. So I got to go into advanced mode. Okay, so I need to add this middle step here and I need to filter it. So I only want to continue if I'm going to show all options. Newsletter permission contains, and then I only want it to go forward if it contains the word yes. They can type yes, please, yes, whatever. But if it says yes, we're going to go in. Perfect. So let's continue. And in this one, um, my zap would not have continued because it's pulling a lead that was in there before, but that's okay. And now I want to make sure that this is all correct. I'm going to skip this test because I don't actually want to send her data over because it shouldn't have gone through before. Um, and then that is it. So I'm going to close and then I'm going to rename my zap. So I'm going to go new lead Dubsado. Yes. Weekly email newsletter. And I'm going to turn on my zap. Now, every time I get a lead inside of Dubsado and they say, yes, I want to receive your weekly newsletter they're going to be added to that segment. And then when I send out my weekly newsletter, I just need to make sure I include them in the segments that I'm sending it to. So I hope you found that super helpful. I'm so glad you joined me today. Um, if there's any videos that you really want to see, either Flowdesk or Dubsado or Notion, um, leave a comment below and I'd love to create a video just for you and share it here on my YouTube channel. Um, if you are really needing help getting your Dubsado or your Flowdesk just organized and automated correctly, um, I have a link down below to book a free 30 minute clarity call with me. I'd love to come alongside you and help you get organized inside of your business. Um, it is my joy and like my passion is to help creative entrepreneurs get organized in their business. So all of those admin tasks that are just so painful to do get automatically done for you. So you can live your life and your business the way that you set out to live it when you started your business in the first place. So I hope to see you guys next week.